What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So today we're going to be doing uh, Mercury in the sign of Taurus. And what happens when Mercury is in the sign of Taurus in your horoscope? Well, what is the sign of Taurus? Taurus represents beauty because it's originally the second house representation in the zodiac cycle. So it represents the face. It represents beauty. It represents art. It represents culture. It represents fine food, fine dining. It represents finance because second house is a house of wealth. Okay. Taurus is controlled by Venus. So all sorts of sensual pleasures are seen from Taurus. And this is a feminine sign. So they are quite a feminine sign. They like feminine beauty. Like they, they, they might like things like sewing. They might like things like, uh, you know, fashion, modeling, anything, singing. Um, because again, second house represents the throat. So singing, any writing poetry, any kind of, you know, poetic thesis out there can be seen from the second house. So when you put Mercury here, Mercury, first of all, is in the sign of his friend, best friend, Venus. Here, Mercury's energy is very pleasant and very soft. It's no longer that harsh dominating Mercury anymore. Here, Mercury, when they speak, they, they have this articulate and beautiful dialect to them. They speak with grace. They have this beauty oozing out when they speak. This is why they make very good songwriters. This is why they make very good po poets or writer in general. When they they can be great food critics, food writers, travel bloggers, travel writers. Okay, and Mercury here feels a sense of beauty. They need to anytime they speak, anytime they communicate, there has to be artistic artisticness, and that artisticness needs to glare have a glare of beauty in it. So it's a very pleasant place to be in. Here, Mercury is also inclined towards finance. So you can see an accountant with this uh, placement because Mercury is all about calculation along with communication. Second house represents finance. So he is good at calculating about finance, which is being an accountant. It can make a good stockbroker, especially if Mercury is in Taurus in the fifth house or 11th house. So finance is another avenue where Mercury takes in because Mercury has this dual personality. He can be that communicative, artistic, articulate person or he can also be that mathematician, that accountant, that critic, you know, who can who looks at details, the lawyer. So he has a two dual personalities here. Here, Mercury loves singing because it's in the sign of singing, sign of throat, a Mercury's communication. So that natural indication of singing is there, especially if Venus is also with Mercury. Uh, in, in the sign of Taurus or Venus is in the second house, third house, fifth house, seventh house, even tenth house. It can strongly signify somebody who just loves singing. may not be a professional singer, but they enjoy the process of singing. They enjoy the process of music and instruments. Okay, but instruments is really also seen from Gemini as well. But here the music and poetry and Art and culture becomes a huge part. So they can also write about, you know, they can become art history writers. They can write books on art and culture and any kind of, you know, historic uh, events that have happened in, um, in whatever subject that they're studying, you know, in their own life, lives of other people. But here it's just the speech is very pleasant. They, when they speak, they speak softly. They speak kind of slow because, you know, bulls, bull, Go, walks slow most of the time. So you can see that their speech, the dialect of speech is soothing. They're not in a rush. Hey, go back. Hey, so yeah, let's uh, do this. That's how Mercury is in Taurus. You know, since Mercury has that, you know, analytic quality, quality to analyze things and critique things and perfect things, and with mix of Taurus also makes them good financial analyst. Because Taurus is about finance, it's about money, and a financial analyst is trying to decide and calculate what is going to be happening with the company that I'm working for, what is going to be happening, what do we need to do in order to you know, get the stock up. So financial analysts are seen from this placement as well, but mainly you will see you know, like Mercury really being involved in 
singing and poetry and songwriting and especially depending upon what nakshatra is in it will really determine like if Mer mercury is in the mixra nakshatra in taurus he'll be more inclined towards research research papers more inclined towards writing about like novels you know in rohini he'll be more inclined towards music and more inclined towards like writing songwriting and you know playing instruments and also this is how you can determine the qualities of Mercury in the uh, nakshatra as well. But again, yes, I know I'm not discussing the nakshatra thing because that's a whole nother avenue when I'll do planets through nakshatra. That's when you'll find out because there's a lot more than just Mercury being in Mixar and trying to be a research and uh, trying to be a, you know, author. So it's a lot more than that. But this is like the main core of Mercury in Taurus, all right? And remember guys, tomorrow at 2 p.m., is a lecture by Von Paul Manley on YouTube channel through Google+. Plus. He's going to be discussing several charts and telling you all aspects of those charts and divisional charts, kind of like what Sam Juppie did. So make sure you're here tomorrow at 2 p.m. California time to watch that live. And again, my book is coming out on March 17th on lulu.com, Conjunction at the Speed of Light, first of its kind. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your Mercury is placed and what sign it's placed in, check out the link below. Check out my book there, Astrology, The Speed of Light. And when you get the book, I will send you the link to look at your own chart. Just make sure you follow the directions below, please. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow with Juan Paul Manley back again on the stage. Bye-bye.